and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for our first stream of 2020. That's right, it's New Year's Day. Happy New Year, everybody watching this at home later on. And of course, everybody here in chat also. Happy New Year, everyone. We're going to be playing a lot of the standard shakeup events today. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be basically playing in a format where the best cards in standard are banned. And so we're going to be bringing a lot of janky decks and having fun with that. So you can you'll you can see like all these decks that we're going to be playing over here. But first, we got a donation deck to play here in a regular standard, traditional best of 3 standard. We got mono black aggro. And I really like our one drops. Of course, Knight of the Ebon Legion is a fantastic one drop in Gutter Bones. But I like our interaction at one mana. Disfigure, I feel like Disfigure still just is just an underplayed card. This this card is is um you know it can be one mana removal at times, but it's it makes combat a lot better for you. It's really good in combat where you can attack with some smaller creatures, whatever they you know, if they make a block where you can disfigure their blocker, give their, their blocker minus two, minus two, um, then suddenly you have, like, a profitable attack. So it makes makes attacking easier, and it makes blocking easier the same way. They attack in uh, with something that's a larger creature, and you give it minus two, minus two, and then you get to block with a smaller creature, keep your creature alive. And then we have Drill Bit also. Very powerful at one mana, you know, just, just thought sees where you don't have to spend the mana when it's cost one but of course you do have to turn it on with spectacle um, our deck does an okay job of that with having just the one drop creatures to help turn on our spectacle not only for our drill bit but for our spawn of mayhems as well so this looks pretty interesting we have our like you know full four uh copies of castle lock twain to be able to refill our hand if need be but yeah this looks like a pretty interesting deck and so let's give it a try let's see how it does all right, we're going to play through a league and play until we win five or lose two, whatever happens first. Yeah, um, Spawn of Mayhem, you know, doing, if you, you know, you untap with Spawn of Mayhem, it does that one damage to them, trigger your drill bit, you know, trigger the spectacle, turn on your drill bits. That's definitely a good combination. So this one is not a shakeup deck. All of these others with the two S's, these are all standard shakeup decks. Three, four, six, seven. We got seven. We have two very good decks. Absent Hero, Mono White Formation, two, two of my favorite decks in just regular standard that have nothing on the, the standard shakeup ban list. We're going to try those first, and then we're going to be bringing some jank. Kaikar, we're making an elf deck. Bio Essence Hydra. We got some... Um, we got Magic Mirror in our Grixis Alliance deck. So, it'll be fun. <laughs> yeah, sorry, MC. I took that out. Slow hand, but it's okay. Because Midnight Reaper is awesome. Drill bit. We'll just take Ambusher and Nissa. Still a very loaded hand. That's a loaded hand right there.
Yeah, so I can try to play around Quench and Dispute. I could take, like, Frilled Mystic and just, like, let them play Ambusher. Because then I have, I still, I do have Murderous Rider for Ambusher. Maybe I should take Frilled Mystic. I'm going to do that, actually. Yeah, playing Thought Season Standard. Azrael. Yeah, he's he's slowly recovering. Hey, David the Cat. Good morning. Play around this mystical dispute. I wasn't gonna play Murder's or sorry, Midnight. I wasn't gonna play Midnight Reaper and get it disputed. I would have just passed. If we didn't draw the Fenlurker. Quench. Well, they had a loaded hand just a little bit ago. <clears throat> Doesn't look so loaded now, but I guess they do have Castle Vantress. But I have Castle Lock Twain. All right, we got rid of all this stuff. Nissa, Frill Mystic, Borrower, Ambusher, Quench. Whole bunch of stuff. No lands in hand. It didn't really give them an option to put in a land. You can tell they, these are all spells. Still all spells. exactly what I wanted to see there. That was their best card they could have. I haven't, I haven't really been, been thinking that far ahead yet, Dave. Selesny Adventure with some token tricks are still a good deck. Um, yeah, like, yeah, like the Selesnia. Yeah, there's a, there's a pretty popular Selesny Adventure deck. 
that uh, people play. Am I supposed to attack out? I don't feel like it. Man, that ambusher. Come on. They drew Ambusher and Mono Counter spells. Gross. They're blocked. It's like that, that, that. It's like two, three, four, five, six. I'm attacking with everything, but by, oh no, I need to stop doing attack and then attack with everything. No, I wanted to attack with everything. Whoops. <laughs> uh, I tried to be too cute. Try to be too cute. I didn't want to make it. I didn't want to just like go to combat, then immediately attack with everything and make it pretty obvious that um, make it pretty obvious that I had something. I wish I would have put a stop here. I wish I would have put a stop here at upkeep so I could have activated castle again. Hey, uncle. Happy New Year. Yeah, I just kind of messed this all up. At least I get to play around Mystical Dispute. And Quench. Never mind, I didn't mess it all up. They had no more hard counter spells. Why would you block the 2 3 instead of a 2 1? Just like, what's the upside there?
I activated, I still I was one short elite though if I activated. Hey Azrael, happy new year. All right, so the double drill bit was critical in that game. Here we get a whole bunch of Noxious Grass now for Nisa and Ambusher. Do I want Order, Wrinkle? Um, Foulmire Knight's a really good card to turn on Drill Bit and Spawn of Mayhem, though. We just have a lot of cards that like look pretty good. But I think we had, I think we need to stay low. So I'm going to take out Rotting Regisaur. I think it's my worst 3 plus drop. But I kind of do want to play more Order of Midnights. I don't know what to take out though. I guess it'd be like Gutter Bones. Yeah, there's there's a better chance the Order of Midnight's gonna be better for me than Gutter Bones. Let's just switch those numbers. We'll play four Order of Midnight, two Gutter Bone. Good, that's a good draw. I will also take that trade. Draw a card, I'm gonna draw a card. We can both draw cards. It's so basically do I want to play around Quench? <clears throat> and not play Spawn of Mayhem yet. Yeah. I think I do want to play around Quench. Do 
get him, drill bit. Get him. They go Frilled Mystic, I get to play Spawn. Hmm. So like at best they'll have quench to to counter spawn a mayhem, but we'll have the two mana. So like we're good. This deck's pretty sweet. This is drill bit. Drill bit sweet. You can play some more drill bit decks. Need some more drill bit. Ooh, mono black discard. We need some more mono black discard in life. We should play that tomorrow. Yeah, I'll write that down. GG's. Anatran with the tier three sub. That is awesome. Y'all get some hype in for Anatran. That is awesome. Thank you so much there, Anatran. And so yeah, of course, you know, bleeding black Anatran with those with the tier three subs. Um you let let me know whatever donation deck you want, because that's that's what you get with the tier three subs. You get a free donation deck each month. GG's there, two hundred. Yeah, the two S's means the standard shakeup event. We're gonna be playing a lot of that event. Today, it's like mono blue versus mono black. Man, Theros really is coming back, isn't it? Yeah, there's no... Um, no uh, expiration date on that Antran. Anytime you want. Thanks, 200. Yeah, this... this uh, Kendis made... Or at least, you know, donate for this deck. And this wasn't one that I put together. Did the... Did the... Um, did the Teferi avatar and Teferi sleeves throw you off? <laughs> so Kendis is like, use those and throw the opponent off. They'll never expect a mono black deck. <laughs> Ooh, disfigure. So we got some tough decisions for this turn. I think I want to get more of my hand out there, get rid of more of their hand.
<laughs> okay, nice. Yeah, that'd be cool for zombies to be a thing in Theros. It doesn't doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I kind of need it. Need to do some more tuning for the mono black zombies in historic because I do think there's a lot of good stuff for zombies in historic. I haven't played it since Oko was banned. All right, Reggie. I'll cast both of these before my next turn. Put an upkeep stop here. I'll cast the the swift end. Guess we're killing the fairy vandal. Ah, dang. All right. So the sleeves didn't fool you. Gates. Wow, that was a great draw. That was really fortunate. I have one mana to spend. And if you have one mana to spend, what's better than a 2-3 that can also pump to be a 5-6 death touch? It's a pretty good one mana invest investment. Um, not sure what their plan is. Just to get me down to three life, I guess. They play that after blockers. They did play that after blockers. Even if they blocked Rotting Regisaur, I could activate uh, the Knight of the Ebon Legion, and we had exact lethal. So this looks like a matchup where we need to end the Legion. And... Could play some wrinkle? Question mark. Doesn't really seem like that good of a Foulmire Knight uh, matchup. Maybe, maybe I don't need Drill Bit. Or order a midnight. Like it doesn't seem like creatures die, right? Like they just attack me and kill me. They don't. They don't kill my creatures. They could counter some stuff. I did have. Yeah, I had just. I would have disfigured if you would have double blocked the register with the lance. I meant to attack with everything that turn because I had disfigure, but I accidentally clicked just attack with register. <laughs> so I almost. I almost threw that away. Yeah, that was, that was my card there was Disfigure, but I I meant to attack with everything. I just I just did the attack with Registor for a little bit to make you think that I had nothing in hand, and then I was going to attack with all, but I accidentally clicked the just attack one, and I was like, no.
Oh yeah, Finale of Eternity looks awesome. Let's play that card. <clears throat> so I'm going to cut the Midnight Reapers for the same same reason. Doesn't seem like our creatures are going to be dying too much. Just kind of a race. I. Guess we took too long sideboarding. Oh well, two out. All right, thanks, 200. GG's. Yep, good luck today. Happy New Year. Hmm. Lots of threes. But if we get to hit with, you know, on the play, we get to hit with Knight of the Ebon Legion right away. Then we can drill a bit. Hopefully draw this third land. Oh, no, the mirror match. Stormfist Crusader and Murderous Rider. So the reason why they don't block there is because they're scared of Black Lance Paragon. Yeah, finale would have been great. So they probably should have done that on their turn. Because now... Now the Knight of the Evan Legion grows because they lost four life. They already knew they were going to be killing that. And to the price to pay this Regisaur is we do have to discard the Swamp. That's okay. We got this. I think I'm actually going to get rid of Drill Bit. I think Drill Bit may be a little slow. And instead of Drill Bit, play Legion's End Finale of Eternity. That sounds like a good plan. Um, do I want, like, Gruesome Menagerie? No. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I think the only card that I don't like, yeah, the, uh, Kenneth said that I thought about putting Witch's Vengeance in the sideboard for knights, but realized they had too many knights as well. 
No card I don't really like is Dreadhorde Invasion. I don't think Dreadhorde Invasion is good enough to beat anything. I think I'd rather Dreadhorde Inva Invasion be like Davriel. As far as control decks go. Sounds good. Why do I gotta put one back? I kind of want to put back the Knight of the Ebon Legion, honestly. I think it's probably easier for the 1-1 Death Touch to trade. I mean, we're supposed to put that back. Maybe I'll put back the Midnight Reaper on the draw. I guess I'll do that. Midnight Reaper's so good, though. No, I wouldn't put back a swamp. It's just too risky. If we don't, because then if we put back a swamp and we don't draw more, we lose. Yeah, but also I, I would kind of like to have more than three swamps anyway because we want to be double spelling and stuff, and I I like swamp. I don't want to put that back. Gut to bones. Basically just wanted to get Spawn of Mayhem down right away. was a great draw. Wow, that was good. Yeah, that was that was perfect. That was just absolutely perfect. They even got to keep a card in hand to protect from Fenlurker as well. Maybe I do want those drill bits. I do not have very many removal spells for Rotting Regisaur. Epic Downfall is a good one. I was thinking that they have they have cheap cards. We have cheap cards. We're gonna be we're both gonna be emptying our hands quickly and drawing drill bit later is is just a dead card. I mean, what would you recommend taking out to put drill bits in?
Oh, yeah, that's true. They discard the last card of Regisaur, so if I would have found Lurkard. Yeah, because I couldn't flash in the Embercleave at that point. Midnight Reaper is probably like the the card that to look at to maybe take out. But Midnight Reaper, you know, like our our cards could trade quite a bit, but about order of midnight. I'm gonna take out order of midnight and one Reaper and play play three three Reaper three drill bit. I don't like it. <clears throat> Hopefully gutter bones is good. One legion's end. <clears throat> Could end the game though. A little surprised by the attack. Just a little. They traded one damage to me for to two damage to them. Gutterbones is a better threat, and saving Fen Lurker to whenever they have less cards, they can't easily, can't as easily exile something. Also makes Fen Lurker more valuable, but it just uses my mana a lot better. Hey, Death of Me. Happy New Year. No, this is. No, we're, we're playing against Rakdos Knights right now. Well, that was a wonderful turn. Oh, yeah, I should have put Gutter Bones in my hand because of the Crusader drawing card. I was thinking I don't want to put the Gutter Bones in hand because it's discarding to Regisaur, but I should just put it in the hand because of that. Oh, that's true. They didn't. They didn't take damage. I couldn't just put gutter bones back in my hand. That's that's a very, <clears throat> very good point there. They do have to take damage. Monomachus. That could be good. 
Thanks for the tier one sub. Brand new tier one sub. Happy New Year. Our fourth sub of the day. So basically, they, they can still have Black Lance Paragon. They can kill my Rotting Registrar here if I attack out. That's basically like what they have is Black Lance Paragon. They they absolutely have that. So do I do I let them trade Rotting Registrar for Black Lance Paragon, or do I just attack with everything else? May just attack with everything else, honestly. So I go to 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 12. I guess I let them trade. I don't discard my gutter bones. Oh, that's even better for me. That's even better. Basically, I need to be scared of Reggie Embercleave. So I have to attack with everything here and force them to trade. Because I have to be scared of Reggie, Ember Reggie Embercleave. Reggie Cleave. That's just lethal. All right, close game. And we are three and O oh with mono black aggro. Looking good. Um. I don't think a Yara really fits in the deck. The three mana slot has so much competition right now. We have so many good threes that I don't think how this deck is constructed, I don't think a Yara fits over the three drops that it currently has. It certainly wishes it had better two drops and could kind of spread that out a little bit more because we are going one to three quite a bit. Our ones are good and our threes are great. Two 
two is really where we have a hole. Playing that before Reggie, um, you know, you know, Reggie's a better blocker basically because of our our hand. You know, playing Regisaur early means we got to discard more cards. This isn't over, you know, like questing beast into Embercleave or even just, you know, this, like with Embercleave. Could be scary. Not really a reason to attack with Rotting Regisaur and have them discard or have them just block with their 1 1. I guess they wouldn't block with their 1 1 because then they couldn't attack with the bees. But still, good to play some defense. Grasp. Does not seem like a very good Gutter Bones matchup, but it Gutter Bones was kind of important there. Hey, Women's Fitness. Thanks for reselling for the fifth month. Saying, Happy tw happy New Year, dude. Hope your 2020 is filled with perfect curve games and minimal roping. That would be nice. <clears throat> okay, Order of Midnight's going to go... And Midnight Reaper goes. And we play Grasp and End. Kind of want to play Rankle. Yeah, let's play some Rankle. Maybe less Gutter Bones. We have Disfigure also. We don't need all the Legion's Ends then. We'll play one Legion's End, three Gutter Bone. Uh, sorry to hear that brain fly killed a laptop. A rough way to start the, the new year. Okay, I was like, Dread Return's not in standard. So how we're not playing Dread Presence? Because we're just not, we're not playing that many lands. You know, like, you have to, you have to have, um, you know, you have to have four, you know, it's a four mana card, and then you have to play more lands after you play it. And we're just not playing that many lands. Cosmotronic Wave. It's fine.
Using the murderous rider does mean that I don't have an answer to a large red creature like a bone crusher giant now. I just use my mana better. And of course I do want to I want to start emptying my hand because of castle. I also don't mind getting a lifelink creature out here. What? Okay, well I was not expecting Hellkite. To be fair. Okay. Well got very punished. Very punished. Gargan Hellkite. I just didn't really think of that whenever I took whenever I went into consideration of playing Murderous Rider there. Oh. Go, Murderous Rider, go. Get him. I waited for them to attack. Look, not only could we not kill Paradise Shoot until they could attack, but I was hoping they were going to activate the castle anyway. Do they have lethal? They're one short of lethal? Oh, wait, but Murderous Rider is going to give me two life. So they need to draw a land so they get to double activate Hellkite. That's what they really want. That's what they really, really want. So if I was going to tell you what they would want. What they would really, really want. They would probably want a land. Double activate Hellkite, kill Spawn of Mayhem. Yay. No land. Spawn grows to be a 5-5. Five five. Gain two life. Two puts me down to six. Okay, so they get double activation. Fortunately, like we're we're just trading everything here. They go down to four. I go up to eight. Or no, I don't even go up to eight.
that land was was just just the right card to draw. But I couldn't I can't I couldn't activate my um, castle first, of course. Ugh, gosh. What are all these lands doing in our aggro deck? Well, we have two life. I don't know if that means we have too little or too much. We have two life. Too little is the answer. Too little life. Okay, you draw land. All right, well, that's... Man, this is so close. What a draw. What a draw. We're gonna make him chump. Okay, now it's all up to, up to their draw. Draw land. Uh, land. Yeah. Oh man, that was so close. Ooh, that was so land. Or that was so close. We had all those lands. We we're chilling in the swamp. All right. Yeah. GGS. Okay, so that is win number four. Y'all know what that means. That means we're on the final boss. We're going to try to win all this tons amount of gold. We got to get our final boss playlist going. Sorry, Two Door Cinema Club. Final boss playlist. Yeah, they drew their one mana card, so I drew my one mana card also. But yeah, the Knight of the Oven Legion was awesome. Especially off the castle. I didn't have that much mana left. I was hoping for Noxious Grasp, but Knight was even better. Hey, we got a curve. That fabled curve. Yeah, we need some gray merchant. Some gray merchants at the top of our curve here. Okay. So you think for one of their special formats, an idea you got would be... It's a cue where you choose one color to ban from facing you, so your opponents can't play that color. So if you don't like facing blue decks or green decks or red decks, don't think anybody would choose white <laughs> right now. Standard. Um, Spawn of Mayhem is definitely a lot more important to resolve than Midnight Reaper. So with the obvious Sinister Sabotage, I'll play the Reaper. Could also just pass. Could just activate Fenlurker, I guess. I'm definitely passing now to the Ambusher.
Uh, I don't really have any opinion on the idyllic tutor reprint. It's probably a good one. Saw the card was like, you know, $30 in paper. So it's probably good to reprint it. I guess that would be my opinion is that is that it's a good reprint. They wanted to have four mana available, but we're not going to let them. I right, got two lethal attackers in the air. Oh, absolutely excited for Theros. Yeah, definitely. This land, we are all connected. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Okay, good win against Simic for game one. No drill bits either. And now we get to bring in all the Noxious Grasps. <clears throat> so what did we do against them last time? Brought in all these Noxious Grasps. Got some Disfigures. I think I cut Reggie and Disfigure. Maybe Reggie's better than Midnight Reaper. Midnight Reaper doesn't match up against uh, their 4-4 four, four flash. No, I don't really like Legion Zen for Nissa lands. What if we play Reggie and Wrinkle? Dreadhorde Evasion doesn't do enough in this matchup. It's too slow. They go over the top of it like with their stuff. You know, Ambusher, Nissa, Krasis all goes over the top of it. Rankle is a turn slower than Midnight Reaper would be. Good job, Finlurker. Get rid of a Druid. Hey, Phoenix. Kind of a smart block would have been here. 
that like after I attacked, I was kind of worried about was them having like them blocking having Paradise Druid block. Um, oh gosh. I really wish I had one more mana and I could disfigure the Paradise Druid and then make them sack the Ambusher, obviously. Maybe just attack with everything and then just disfigure the ambusher when it blocks. I do like just getting that that out of here, how they missed the land drop, though. Um, I don't remember what I was talking about now. Yeah, I should. I probably should have just attacked with all. Yeah, I should have just attacked all. Alright, I messed this game up. Yep. Yep. I was just thinking about too much stuff about like what I was, you know, talking about and then, you know, the whole wrinkle thing. And then, yeah, I just, I don't know. I just didn't really even think about attacking all and figuring I was doing too much. Possible they just don't block with the ambusher though, and we would have been in the same spot. I just had more ambushers than I had removal spells for it that time. They have four ambushers. I have eight removal spells. I had one, and they had two. Game one, though, is the other way around, and so I won. Back on the play. Honestly, Cyborg again, Wrinkle for Midnight Reaper probably cost me that game, though. Like, think if I had, think if it would have been Midnight Reaper that would have drawn. I would have definitely played the Midnight Reaper first and then attack out. I guess that means they probably don't block, though, because of Midnight Reaper. Yeah, they probably wouldn't block. So I wouldn't be able to disfigure the Ambusher. Bounce the Fenlurker. I 
I am actually I'm activating Castle here at end step if Yeah, I'm not gonna just waste the mana. I don't understand. Like unsummon? Like, do they think mystical dispute's important? I don't understand. Do they think, like, dispute was going to save it? They just played nothing on end step and then untapped, shocked, and played that? All right, anyway. There we go. The 5-0... Get all those gold. There we go. All that gold. Get some gems. A resolute writer. That makes sense. It's New Year's Day. Got to get your New Year's resolute shin writer. Um, <laughs> yeah, so the aggro deck, we went 5-0. Uh, the Teferi sleeves, I guess, helped us out. And Teferi um, avatar also. Um, yeah, I liked, I liked the list. It was fun to play. The one thing about it, like I said, is I don't like Dreadhorde Invasion. I don't think this card is, um, very impactful. I don't think this, this will really help you win games. I would not play Dreadhorde Invasion at all. I, I would just play, uh, like Davriel instead against control decks. The thing about Davriel is it does cost three, just like everything else costs three. And that's kind of the problem. But you're you're sideboarding out rotting Regisaur there for sure against control, and you you are bringing in Order of Midnight. But Dreadhorde Invasion just doesn't. I mean, even against even against like blue eye control, you know, like they're playing all their planar cleansings, and they you know, but getting that thing bounced with the fairy is really annoying. Cause you, you have to like wait until your next turn to make a one one, and then like the next turn after that you can attack for two, and just do not want that card. So yeah, I'd rather have Davriel. Um, or Duress, honestly. Just even Duress would be good too. Instead of Davriel, it could have Duress. <clears throat> or you could just go a little bit bigger and play like Liliana or Bola Citadel. That's something else you could do. It's just, you know, like your three drop slots covered. We saw there it's not that difficult to draw the extra lands with having Castle and Midnight Reaper and stuff like that. And you could just play a couple six drops in the sideboard. Cards that will like really impact the game. All right, but there we go. There's Mono Black Aggro. Awesome way to start the new year with the 5-0. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, let me know what you think of the deck in the comments. Um, you know, hit that like button over there also. And, uh, and there we go. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.